Hi, I'm Nina from Nufti, and this is Two Minutes in Tehran, where you'll find all you need to know from This Week on Iran in under two minutes. As the Islamic Republic continues to wage its war on the Iranian people, 64-year-old Shahriar Bayat has been sentenced to death for supporting the Women Life Freedom Movement. Shahriar openly criticized the regime on social media during the 2022 uprising and was originally sentenced to 18 months in prison on charges of corruption on earth, insulting the Prophet, waging war against God, and insulting Khomeini and Khamenei, among other charges. A separate court convened regarding his charge of insulting the Prophet, and he was ultimately sentenced to death. On Monday, two IRGC generals and five officers were killed in an Israeli airstrike on a building adjacent to the Islamic Republic's embassy in Syria, which served as an IRGC headquarters to host officers and operatives from the Revolutionary Guard. The Islamic Republic has warned that a serious response is coming, while while promising that it would hold the United States accountable for the attack because of its support of Israel, despite the Biden administration stating that it was not aware of the attack beforehand. Last Friday, Iran international presenter Puria Zerati was stabbed outside of his home in London. This comes only a few months after a plot by the Islamic Republic to kill two other Iran international journalists was exposed. The matter is still under investigation by the London Metropolitan Police's Counterterrorism Command, however detectives say they have identified three suspects who flew out of Heathrow Airport only a few hours after the attack. As the Islamic Republic continues to try to spread its intimidation and violence beyond Iran's borders, we wish Puria a speedy recovery and urge proper protection for all journalists and activists. Thanks for joining Two Minutes in Tehran with me, Nina, and Nufti. Stay tuned for more news from our team, and we'll see you next week.